Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining me today. As we consider these moments of devotion with our Good Shepherd, I want you to think about the sand between your toes. And I read from Matthew 7, verses 24 through 27. Everyone who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. And when the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house, it did not fall because it had been founded on the rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and, and, but does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat against that house and it fell and great was the fall of it. I used to go surf fishing in the ocean. Once I caught a horseshoe crab that had grabbed hold of my bait and wouldn't let go until I pulled him out of the water. Anyway, I was standing 15 to 20 feet into the surf on level sand. Except, every time a wave came in and the water rushed out, the sand under my feet would wash out, and it wouldn't be level anymore. And then I'd have to kind of reposition myself in order to brace for the next wave. On what are you standing in your relationship with God? On rock? or on sand. An extremely important word in the Bible is justified. Its meaning, again, is to declare not guilty, not subject to punishment, or just if I'd not sinned. Most people today believe that they are justified before God. But on what are they basing that hope? Actually, for some, it isn't even a hope. It's a certainty. But why are they certain God isn't angry with them and will give them heaven someday? Their answer, God is love. Which, of course, he is. But then they'll add that because God is love, he understands how people feel about things. And so things he used to say are wrong, he now says are okay. Times have changed, after all. At such times, what is the solid rock on which we may take our stand? Christ alone. But we may say, I already know that. Well, are you familiar with the term muscle training? Whether you are shooting hoops or playing a musical instrument or texting on your phone, by re repeating an activity again and again, we train our muscles so that we get better and better at it. In the same way, the waters of our life may be calm right now, but by confessing our sins and our worship, and by hearing the words of forgiveness, and also by repeating the basis of our forgiveness in the apostles or Nicene creeds, our faith muscles are being trained. And then, when our life's water gets rough, we're able to stand firm on the rock of ages and know that we are forgiven and we have peace with God and he with us until we are with him. Oh, people of God, children of the Heavenly Father, build your life and your hope of heaven on nothing less than everything Christ has done for us and everything he has revealed to us and nothing else. Join me in prayer. Only your word, O Lord, remain sure and unchanging. Help me always to stand firmly on your truth. Amen. Well, my friends, stand firm on Jesus. He's the only solid rock for your salvation.